Yeah, working full time. Things just gradually dwindled down. We had a, the company I worked for had a staff of 30. There's three people there now. And what industry was that? Um, in the ballistics, making bulletproof vests. Did you ever think that this could happen? No, not in my wildest dreams. The fear was kind of the unknown, getting robbed, bashed, beaten. Um, and the biggest surprise was there's people out there doing it tough and they chipped in and give you a hand, you know. Everyone helps everyone out. Hmm. How does it make you feel um, when, you, when you see someone who's just not really strong enough to handle it? Oh, I feel a bit bad, you know, but you just go and help them out. You know, put them under your wing for a while. That's all you can do. I meant Otherwise, before. Otherwise, they, yeah, they get into the wrong hands and next thing they're sitting in the park just drinking and stuff. So, yeah. Yeah. Now that you've got this backpack there, what's it mean to you? It's like my own private house now. You know? It means I'm not going to get wet and the bugs aren't going to eat me alive. So it means a lot. It's like someone's actually taking the time. It's all right, mate. You're a survivor. Yeah. Uh, Carl's your mate. Looks yeah. after you. Yeah. Um, you know, what would you like to tell the folks out there? No, we're not all bad. We're just normal people, just doing it a bit hard. You know? So we may look bad. We might smell the best sometimes, but that can't be helped. Tonight, I know it's it's pouring rain outside. Yeah. What? What was it going to be like tonight? What were you worried about tonight? Um, getting wet, getting moved on. Uh, it's always a hassle. Did you have anything waterproof or something that could help nah. protect you? No, nah, just a sleeping bag. Just a sleeping bag? Yeah, and a backpack for a pillow. So you were going to be sleeping in the open or in the Yeah, I'll probably, probably go try and find a shop doorway or veranda somewhere. You know, might take a little bit of walking so you're going to get wet. But try and find somewhere. Mm. You know, if you're up early enough, you can always sneak into these car park stairwells and uh, but you can't do it often. You can't, you know, otherwise you get moved on. How, how many hours do you reckon you get on, on a regular basis? Sleep, sleep. Oh, probably maybe four a day, four hours a night. Because yeah, you hear everyone go past and you hear everything, you know. Three o'clock in the morning you hear voices, so you're automatically awake. You don't know what's going to be coming, you know. Mm. There's a lot of idiots out there who just come along and, oh, he's homeless, we'll bash him. For no senseless reason, you know. So. Are they other homeless guys or are they just public? Just public, a lot of it. Yeah. Is that the public? Yeah, Is coming home pissed from the pubs. Young fellas, you know. And bash his homeless guy. Oh, well, I don't know why. Sometimes they get a bit of a shock too when I jump up. So, yeah, are you sure you're going to do this now, boys? So, how does it make you feel that you've got one of these backpack kids and others don't? Oh, like it, I really shouldn't have got it. You know, probably probably people out there are more deserving than me. You know? No, mate. You... But it makes me feel special. Yeah, you know. You deserve yeah. it. Never think like that. Never think like that. Yeah. You try and find a doctor at Bulk's Bills and they just go home and say, I'll oh, get some bed rest and take this medication. doesn't matter whether you can afford to fill the script or not. Though. That's happened a few times. Um, and it's really hard to get bed rest when you haven't got one. Yeah. And what's your vision for the future? Well, hopefully in the near future, get off the streets for a bit. I'm trying to save up a bit of money for uh, bond. That's the hardest thing, getting on, you know, it's just like, wow, so. Oh, no, no, not so necessarily easy, but you know, the, the address thing kills you again. They can't send you any paperwork, uh, like, um, I had to go to a uh, meeting the other day, and they said, oh, but you haven't got a fixed address, and I went, no, I haven't, and they went, all oh, right. We'll have to have your mobile phone number. Then my mobile phone got stolen on Saturday, a couple of Saturdays ago. I said, well, I haven't got a mobile either now. 
And they said, well, how do we get in contact with you? And I went, well, you really can't. I'll just have to keep contacting you. Yeah. Just, yeah, don't judge a book by its cover. We're only human and we're not out to hurt anyone. Just say good day. We'll say good day back. Yeah.